Britain is an ancient and mighty nation with an unparalleled history that stretches back to the dawn of time. The British people form an unbroken chain of life that began in the mists of prehistory and which has endured for millennia through the most stupendous struggles and unmitigated disasters. A thousand generations of our people reach across tens of thousands of years from the green fields of England, the mountains and valleys of Wales, the highlands of Scotland and the loyalist heartlands of Ulster. Every corner of these sacred islands bears the imprint of our sovereign people. The British people are the indigenous inhabitants of these islands. We are the Aborigines of the British Isles. The bones and blood of millions of our ancestors are embedded in every inch of soil across our ancient homeland. Every monument, every war memorial, every building, every castle, every church, every battlefield, every statue, every village, town and city, every flag that flies from every mast, every tradition and custom, every stone in every wall, in every corner of this sacred land is testament to the most prodigious, the most extraordinary, the most creative, the most ingenious, the most exceptional, the most remarkable tribe to ever grace the annals of history. Behind me is the famous Stonehenge Stone Circle, which is now over 5,000 years old, hundreds of years older than the Great Pyramids of Ancient Egypt. Stonehenge is far more remarkable than people think. The stones used to create this extraordinary monument average 25 tonnes in weight and quite unbelievably were brought here from hills in Pembrokeshire, South West Wales, over 180 miles away. In the modern era, we take for granted the availability of cranes, motor vehicles and other technologies. But our ancient ancestors had no such remedies, but still managed to transport 25 tonne blocks hundreds of miles, a truly staggering and breathtaking achievement. Even when our ancestors finished the Herculean task of transporting these gigantic stones to the Salisbury Plain, they then managed to hoist them 30 feet into the air and slotted them together using a remarkable Lego-style system of joints. Far from being a race of primitive barbarians, like the history books love to portray, our ancestors were inventive, creative and highly intelligent, with achievements to rival anything else in the world during the eras in which they lived. I am now standing facing what at first glance, appears to be just a random mound of earth in the middle of the Wiltshire countryside. But this is no ordinary mound of earth. This is actually an incredible and tremendous world heritage site. This is the relatively unknown Silbury Hill, one of the oldest pyramids in the entire world, dating back to the time when the great pyramids of ancient Egypt were being built. Imagine that! a 4,500-year-old pyramid in the heart of southern England. When the Egyptian pharaohs were building their pyramids at Giza, at the exact same time our ancestors were building equally impressive pyramids here in the green and pleasant fields of England. Millions of people drive past this mound on the A4, just over there, every single year and do not realise that they are passing an English pyramid that was built at the same time as those in ancient Egypt. Silbury Hill is another impressive and exceptional tribute to the genius of our ancient ancestors. Nearby are the Standing Stones of Avebury, another area which is rich in ancient examples of British ingenuity and resourcefulness. These huge monoliths are not features of nature, they stand proud, as they have done for thousands of years, because our distant grandparents physically placed them here. These stones were up to 40 tons and were erected at this site centuries before the Trojan War, or ancient Babylon, or the monuments of ancient Egypt. This is the largest stone circle in the world, far larger than anything in Europe, and the sheer scale of these constructions demonstrate the sheer brilliance and genius of our forebears. 
Monuments such as Stonehenge, Silbury Hill and Avebury are reminders from antiquity that we hail from a noble and venerable nation with a glorious past that equals any achievement in all of human history. The reason you are watching this video, the reason you were born and can enjoy life and have children of your own, all comes down to one thing, your ancestors, your parents and grandparents and great grandparents all the way back to the era of Stonehenge and beyond. Your ancestors built and crafted this great island nation and handed it down to the next generation all the way through the mists of time to the present day. If you are British and you are watching this video message, you are the end result of generation after generation representing the historic British nation. British fathers, British mothers, family after family, your DNA and characteristics being passed down through the centuries until we arrive at today, when you are the custodians of this heritage. Tens of thousands of years of British history rests on your shoulders. The British people are the indigenous inhabitants of these islands. And to demonstrate this fact, I have come here to Cheddar Gorge in the southwest of England. Over 10,000 years ago, one of our ancestors met a violent death in Goff's Cave just behind me. And around a century ago, his skeleton was discovered and became known as Cheddar Man. Through the use of DNA and genetic tests, many of the modern day local residents of the surrounding areas have had their own DNA compared to that of the famous Cheddar Man, and the results were astonishing. Huge numbers of the local English residents living in this area are actually direct descendants of the Cheddar Man who died 10,000 years ago just behind them. Some of these residents have been interviewed and are overwhelmed that their distant grandfather was Cheddar Man, even though they are separated by such a huge time chasm. All this goes to show is that the vast majority of the present day British population have ancestry in these islands that stretches back tens of thousands of years. Thanks to breakthroughs and advances in DNA and genetic sciences, it is also now a fact that the invasions of the British Isles over the centuries by the Romans, the Vikings, the Normans and so on were absolutely tiny in number compared to the overall size of the indigenous British population. To give an example, when William the Conqueror invaded England in 1066, he brought with him an army that was only around 6,000 soldiers strong. At the time, the British population numbered roughly 2.5 million. So William's army was minuscule when compared to our overall population. It was a small drop in the ocean. Yes, the Normans did seize political power. But just because we were conquered by this small army, it did not mean that overnight the entire population of England became Norman. Nor did the invasion leave any imprint on the British population as the history books would have us believe. This example also rings true when discussing other invasions, such as the Romans, the Vikings, uh, the Huguenots, or any other small infucks you care to mention. Thanks to DNA and genetic science, we now know that the British are the ancestral indigenous inhabitants of this land, and we have a claim that stretches back eons to the dawn of time. We are most certainly not a nation of immigrants, as the left-wing education system and fake news media claims. We are a nation of native inhabitants. We are the true British people, and this is our sovereign, ancient homeland. The blood of Cheddar Man and every other ancient Britain still flows through our veins today. That has been proven by modern science. My message to all British patriots watching this video is this. Be proud of your ancestors, be proud of your history, celebrate your traditions and culture, cherish your nationhood, and never let anyone make you feel ashamed of your glorious heritage. Many evil vested interests are working hard in the modern era to eradicate our nation, our history, and our nationhood. They are trying as hard as they can to systematically replace the British people 
by a mass immigration and to suffocate our native way of life via the pernicious ideology of political correctness and liberalism. As I have explained in this video, the British are a mighty warrior tribe that have given so much to this world. The British people have a history and a heritage we can be proud of. It was the British Empire that ended slavery. It was the British Empire that built roads, railways, universities, schools, canals, factories and infrastructure all across what is now termed the Third World. The nations of Canada, Australia, New Zealand and even the United States of America were founded and built by the British people. An achievement unparalleled in all of human history. It was Britain that spearheaded the Industrial Revolution and paved the way for modern civilization. British inventors, scientists and engineers literally built the modern world. Our ancestors are looking down on us from above, urging us to preserve the nation that they died in their millions to defend. Our ancestors are proud of us, the Spitfire pilots, the Tommies in the trenches, the Redcoats and explorers of the 1800s, the pioneers of the British Empire, the sailors that defeated the Spanish Armada, the brave souls that manned the chariots of the revolt against the Romans. All the way back to Cheddar Man, our ancestors are proud of us. Let's be proud of them and make sure our children are too.